What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You got me, Solomon, here today and we are at my shop here in Miami, Florida. And this place is a freaking mess because I haven't really had a lot of time to be here. So I've just been, you know, coming here, stacking stuff, coming here, stacking stuff, coming here, stacking stuff. And the shop is really a mess. I need to get everything organized. So I figured I will start out with giving you guys a shop tour. Uh, I've never done a shop tour. So let's start outside and uh, we'll make our way back inside. All right, so here is the shop right there till pretty much right there. And uh, let's see what we have out front. So up first is our 1999 Expedition. We're calling this Eddie Thunder. It's an Eddie Bauer edition and uh, we're gonna be making it into a Thunder clone. This is the chassis from our B100 from Argentina. Here is Black Sheep, which is a 1961 F100 unibody big back window that is on a 2004 Grand Marquise frame. And uh, got Dakota digital gauges, TMI bench seat, still got a Grand Marquise steering wheel and column in it. And uh, we're actually gonna be taking this thing back under the ninth pair soon, cleaning it up, making it better. Um, then we've got my 1978 Bronco. This thing is all original. I got it out of Oregon. It's a super solid truck. I uh, have plans for it, but nothing for the immediate future. It could be for sale if anybody's interested. I want about 25 grand for it as is. And uh, over here, I've got my 1965 F100 long bed. This came from uh, Washington. Super nice original truck. And it's a uh, custom cab with all the trim and everything inside. This one I would sell for 10 grand. Runs and drives great. Here's a high boy that I'm looking for. The 1971 F250 Ranger. And uh, over here is the Dove uh, sandbox truck. I don't know what I want to do with this one right now. Um, I would entertain selling it, but it would have to be to somebody that I would want to be friends with because whoever owns this, I'd have to be friends with. So if you're interested in it, uh, you can email me and shoot me an offer. It'll be less than 20 grand, but more than 10 grand. I feel like somewhere around there we can come to an agreement. All right, so now we have Clyde, which is kind of buried. Let's go to this side. You can probably see it a little better. So Clyde is my 1972 F100 single cab short bed. And this thing is actually going to uh, become a really big project here really soon. I've had this truck for years. It is all original. I got it from the, uh, I got it from an auction at Street Machinery, but he got it from the original owner's estate. The truck is black patina. It's awesome. It's actually in good condition. And uh, I've got a fat fender garage portable coilover chassis for this. Uh, it's gonna be getting a badass motor. Uh, it's gonna be really low, really fast. I've actually got the full TMI interior for it. I'll probably open it up on this when I clean up soon and show it to you guys. Here is the Galaxy Sandbox truck. I have also no immediate plans for this truck. Um, I want to get it running and driving. All it really needs is a carburetor. So I probably just need to put a carburetor on it, finish it, at least get it running and driving so we could just use it. Over here is another 1971 single cab short bed bump side. This is also an all original truck. It's really nice and solid. Um, I don't really have any plans for it. I was going to, uh, I mean, I got it so it could be a tech article truck for F100 Builder's Guide, lower it, you know, do a bunch of cool tech stuff to it. I just haven't had time yet. But it's a really nice, cool truck. And uh, over here, we have the Midas Touch truck. And uh, this one, I also don't have any immediate plans for. 
but it's just such a freaking cool truck. I mean, the interior is still all OG. I mean, it's crazy how everything is still there. So I don't know exactly what I want to do with this, but the plan for now is just leave it here. I probably also, like I said on the other truck, I need to get it running and driving. It's not missing much to be running and driving. Uh, here is my 63 unibody that caught on fire earlier this year and uh it's just kind of chilling here i don't know the immediate plans for it um i'm definitely going to bring this thing back and uh my thoughts are it'll be a race truck you know maybe get like a nascar truck chassis put underneath it just skin this on top um i really don't know i mean it's messed up but it's not crazy crazy messed up over here is one of our shop cats and uh, here is my 1973 sandbox. This is the lighthouse truck. And uh, I also don't have any immediate plans for it. And then back there, we just have some random parts. And then uh, here, I got rid of my OBS dually, but this is a body kit for the OBS dually. I got from my buddy Frank at Reds. And uh, now let's get back into more stuff. I've got a hood for Simi. Uh, Simi has a, if you guys remember, we picked up an F26 cab a while ago for him. The yellow cab, but it was just a cab. No front end, no bed, no anything. So uh, I've been getting parts for him, so that's his hood. Those are his fenders. Here's a bunch of wood and stuff that I use to decorate the shop. These are the B100's front doors that I'm not using. An old, uh, this is actually, off my first F100. This is the cross member I thought I was gonna use. Never ended up using it. And now we make it inside the shop. So please, you know, pardon the mess. As I said in the beginning of the video, uh, it's just been nonstop. I've been stacking stuff in here, not taking anything out, not organizing. Hopefully by the end of this video, it'll be nice and organized. We'll do another tour. Uh, but here is basically the shop. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll remember that my best friend, Simi, he used to have the front half of the shop and uh, he ended up moving out a few months ago and I took over the entire shop. So you can kind of see the difference in aesthetics from this half of the shop to this half of the shop. So when I originally did the shop, I built my half out and you know I, put, I did the walls and made everything really nice. Um, over here, I've collected license plates, so I have all my license plates hanging. What I think is crazy is like, I bought all of these, which are all in sequence, but I didn't buy them together. Like that is just super cool. Um, you know, I got this one that says 292, which I thought was cool. And all of these are original Florida license plates. Got some of my tools here, stickers in the toolbox, some more random stuff. Here's some more of my tools and junk. And uh, this is my dad's 1950 Chevy pickup. I've been restoring for him. And uh, this one has got a Blueprint 3D3 stroker, Fatman Fab chassis. Uh, it's got a painless wiring harness. Uh, I 5 Motorsports did all the body work and painted it. And uh, it's just waiting on some uh, parts and then it'll go back together. Uh, over here is my single cab short bed den size that we had buffed out. This is the seat from TMI for a truck that hopefully is gonna be coming back to the shop later today. These are a bunch of parts from Saudi Daisy. I need to get organized. These are the new doors that are gonna go on the B100. The old wheels from Goldust, more Saudi parts. A 3.5 EcoBoost six speed that I am got for a project. Some Bronco front seats. I've got six control packs for uh, Godzilla's, some, you know, 22 inch Detroit's, and then all my hubcaps. I've got a collection of vintage signs. I have, uh, I don't know, just an affinity. I just love them. So I got them all over the shop. And then I built the staircase, covered it, got it all over the staircase. And if you look, all of the wood is pallets that I actually cut the pallets down and uh, built this whole staircase, built this wall. I did all of the trimming, I built that wall. 
And I just, you know, slowly been putting all this stuff together. And then we got it on the inside also. So I've got signs on both sides. These are all repop signs, but all of these are original. Just stuff that I got, you know, on eBay over the years. And uh, here's where I used to have all of my storage, but now it's kind of storage everywhere. So I got tailgates up here, some of my mercury gates. Got some more Merc gates in the back. These are the old front seats that were in Gold Dust before the ones that are in it now. These are the original seats that were in Gold Dust when I bought it. And then got more storage, got some grills up here. The nicest Mercury gate known to man. Some stuff for shipping. More tailgates and tailgates. Spare hood for Gold Dust. Another hood, a couple windshields. Some more parts, some toys for the kids. And then, I'm not sure if I've ever talked about it, but I've got a Cummins R2.8 crate motor, um, which, you know, it just looks like a motor. Tremec TR4050, and uh, both of those uh, I've had for a while, and I just haven't had time to put them into a project yet. Need to be getting onto that. Got a fiberglass slick front clip which my plan is to make it a desk um, for my office one day. And that's pretty much what's upstairs here. My plans for upstairs are to close the whole thing in and clean it all up, put in a nice floor, and then have like a fun spot just to hang out in, you know, get some couches and just have a good area to do something. And then we have my office which is uh, the only air conditioned part of the shop. And I usually have all my merch here, but all of that stuff is actually in Goldust in Kentucky. So I've just got different stuff. Got a bunch of toys that I like to collect. Just different things I've had over the years. My unibody collection, different artwork I've had done. License plates for the B100 I had ordered and just different, you know, random doodads and stuff that I've collected. I made this mailbox and painted it a long time ago and just, you know, more fun stuff. Samples of interior pieces and different things that I'm thinking on, working on. This is my first article ever um, in F100 Builder's Guide and this is how I got into all of it, was uh, with Old Red, which I have back now, and Black Sheep, which I have back now. And uh, it's pretty cool. Got some of my floor mats and here's where I keep a lot of my more rare parts that I don't want outside of the shop. So like this is my mercury shelf and it's a mess and a lot of the other parts are kind of stacked up. Just kind of, you guys can tell, this place is a mess. So basically I've been rambling on for 13 minutes and uh, I gotta clean the shop up. Today's the day, we're cleaning it up. Uh, if you guys want, leave a message in the comment section below right now and let me know your thoughts before you continue watching the video. And uh, now here's this side, I didn't show you yet. Here's the lift and we got work table, another work table and then this whole corner I just stuffed up with all the parts. And uh, we're gonna start cleaning up. So I'm gonna probably just time lapse everything. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my race car hauler trailer thing and uh, bring you guys along so we'll see when we get there. All right, here she is. So let me get her started and bring her over to the shop. Right, guys, we just got the 460 fired up and uh, gonna let it idle for a little bit and then we're gonna pull it out so I'll pick it up when you get there. stuff up and the truck's far from being done I might as well show you so this is a TMI products full bump side interior this is the one that's going in Clyde so these are the door panels 
all leather, super nice. I mean, look at the stitching work on it. Door panels. This is the carpet. I'm not gonna open it. Oh, actually I was wrong. These are the sun visors. Here is the dash pad. Which is really nice. I'm not gonna fully open it. Just tear it for you guys to kind of see. As you can see, beautiful stitched. It's got all the stitching on the end. I mean, super nice. And then, the most important part. This thing out. It's beautiful. So this is their new deluxe bench seat, and uh, what makes it new is now it has this flip up. So you can run three in the front seat, and this has a little uh, pocket right there. So that way you can put some stuff in it, close it down, and then when you put this down, you got a couple cup holders, and it's super cool. What's really awesome is I just went on to TMIproducts.com. I figured all this stuff out, put in my order, and then about eight weeks later, it all showed up. So right now I'm gonna close it back up, stick it in here, and uh, we're gonna continue packing up. All right guys, so I stopped time-lapsing and uh, I got some of my CCTV footage as you saw, and I just kind of was in the zone, wanted to clean this place up. So here's everything that I put inside the truck. I still got space in the middle to walk and I could get to everything. And then, look at this, still a mess, but it's organized. So this seat is Simi's. This one's going into a truck that's showing back up to the shop tomorrow. That one needs to go into a black truck that's outside. And then started organizing. All those gates need to go upstairs. And it's a lot neater. I mean, I could fit a whole nother vehicle here. Got this corner really nice and clean. Got the motor there. You guys didn't even see it before, but I got two 12 valves over here. This is the one that was in Goldust that broke, we pulled out and then this is the industrial motor that I originally bought for it before getting the motor from Dom. This is the new 9-inch from GearFX that's going inside of the burnout truck. 
We got the QA1 rear suspension in the back. The rear bare brakes are right there. There's my kid's collection of cars. And uh, still need to organize the tables. Just kind of threw all the stuff over here. But all of the floors are swept and clean and looking good. And uh, I don't know exactly when, but sooner rather than later, I have to go and empty the entire shop out, grind the floor because I got the uh, 415 floor armor do-it-yourself epoxy. And I'm going to uh, re-epoxy the entire floor here in the shop. And uh, that's pretty much it. I was gonna try to clean up outside too, but I really wanted to focus on the inside. And it got dark fast. So this is pretty much it. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. Let me know um, what you might wanna see more of. Uh, if you guys like this type of stuff, let me know also. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel. If you can, smash that like button. We will see you in the next video.